Hi guys, it's Charlie. I hope you're all well. So, today I have got a huge book haul for you. I've got like 13 books to show you that I've been kind of mounting up since, um, that's been mounting up since I haven't filmed for a while. Um, I just quickly, because it's going to be a long video anyway, but I just quickly want to explain why I haven't been filming a lot lately, um, or I haven't filmed for a while. Basically, over here in the UK at the moment, we are experiencing a heat wave. Um, and I have never known it in my 22 years to ever have been this hot for this long over here. We are so not used to it. I know that there are countries that have much worse weather than us and stuff. So I'm not going to like really like moan and moan about it because I know that there are countries that have it worse. But over here at the moment, because we're not used to it, it is really, really, really hard work. Like, it's this really heavy heat. Like, there's no real kind of breeze or anything like that. It's been kind of 30, 32 at the moment, um, which is the hottest. We we usually, it's kind of wintry here all the time. And it's really nice to have some sun, but it's just so hot. And it's hard to sleep at night. It's hard to eat. Everything's just extra hard work because of the heat. And me and heat don't get on. I think I've mentioned before that I'm a winter baby. And that is so true. I much prefer the cold, the rain, the wind, like getting into bed and snuggling under my covers. I hate it when it's really hot. And yeah, it's just such hard work at the moment. Um, I just quickly wanted to say, there's anybody else out there that's having trouble sleeping like I am at the moment. And I can't use fans in my room because I'm such a light sleeper. Like any noise wakes me up. But I have been using these Cool and Soothe Migraine... Um, strips like this um, and I know this one there for migraine but they're really good for keeping you cool as well and they last for 8 hours so which is kind of an average that you would sleep in the night um, and they've really been helping me because once you put them on your head they get cooler and cooler and cooler um, and it kind of feels like you've got ice on your head, it's so nice so it's just a little tip if you're kind of if you've got any tips for me about keeping cool in the hot weather Please do let me know down below because I'm always looking for them. Anyway, I'm going to go start with the book haul now because this video is going to be really long if I don't. So the first book I got is How to Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. I've wanted this for ages but I wanted this cover. Um, I've heard nothing but good things about this. Um, and it was kind of cheap on Amazon. It's a tiny little kind of handbag. Um, handbag book. Hardback as well. I don't know if I said that. Um, and this is, this is a classic. And I believe it's told from the perspective of a young girl. I love books that are told from children's point of views. I've already said that before. And this is about race, religion, I think, kind of things like that. Um, and yeah, I just think it sounds really interesting and I'm excited to read this one. So that's the first book I've got. Um, oh, I should just show you, I did get one book for review from Bloomsbury. And it is Crown of Midnight by Sarah J Maas. This is the sequel to Throne of Glass which I also picked up because I hadn't actually read and I'm reading it now, I'm that far in and I'm absolutely loving it, which I didn't think I would because high fantasy is not really my thing and this is about a female assassin and like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far so hopefully it will stay that way and then I can get on to reading this and this comes out in August The next book I got is The Brief Wondrous Life of Oscar Wayo by Juno Diaz. I don't really know what this is about, but I saw this in the bookshop and I loved the cover. I Obviously, I'm going to guess it's about a little boy called Oscar. I don't really know much else about it, but I loved the cover. It looked interesting, so yeah, I'm excited to read that one. Then the next book I got, I was actually recommended because of suffering with anxiety and stuff. And it is The Happiness Project by Gretchen Rubin. Again, another lovely cover. I'm sorry about the lighting here. I've got the curtains closed so that the sun doesn't come in. Um, and this is about a woman who, one day, she kind of... It kind of dawns on her that she's not... She's kind of taking things for granted in life that she shouldn't be. And she's not being as happy as she could be. So she starts her own happiness project. And this is basically her writing the process down as she goes through it and kind of telling you how you can start your own happiness project and I thought it sounded really interesting so yeah I'm excited for that one I think I said that about all these books and I genuinely am I'm really sorry if you can hear a humming by the way I've got the fan on next to me um, the next book I got is The Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place this is a middle grade book 
um, and it's by Mary Rosewood. I love the cover. And this is about these children who were discovered in a forest and they're not ordinary and this lady that goes to look after them and um, at somewhere called Ashton Place and all this strange stuff that's happening there um, and yeah it just sounds really interesting so I'm excited for this one the font is quite big so I don't think it will take me that long to read um, the next book that I got is Careless People by Sarah Churchwell and this is the story behind The Great Gatsby um, yeah it's just a story behind Great Gatsby and like F. Scott Fitzgerald's inspiration for writing this book and I got it, I saw it and I had to get it because of the cover I absolutely love it and I love the spine and I just love it all so yeah and it's got pictures going through it as well the inside is really nice too and it's got kind of pictures going through it and yeah I'm really excited for this one I'm doing this quite quick because I don't want this video to be really long, it's already six minutes. The next book that I got is oh, Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. I've seen this kind of going about a bit on YouTube at the moment. And I believe it's about a boy and a girl who were in a relationship and they split up. And the girl sends the boy a box of old stuff. And it's got a letter in it kind of explaining why... Um, they broke up and why all these things, like how they came to have all these objects and stuff. Um, so I thought it's going to be interesting and I love books with that are told with text and pictures and these have got pictures going all the way through of all the objects. Um, if you know any books that are told partly in pictures and partly in writing, do let me know down below because as I say, I love books like that. There we go, it's in the one. I love books like that and yeah, I'm excited to read this one. Then the next book I got is The School for Good and Evil by Saman Chana Chan Can't say it, but that's the name anyway. Um and this is about somewhere children are taken and they either go to the school of good or school of evil to learn to become either fairy tale princesses or fairy tale villains, I guess. Um, and I just thought it sounded super interesting. And I know one of the book clubs are doing this book at the moment, I think, on YouTube. Um, so I'm excited. It's quite a big book. But again, the font is well, it's relatively big and it's got pictures going through it again in this one. So yeah, I'm excited for that one. I then got I Am Messenger by Marcus Suzak. This has been on my wishes for a long, long time. For some reason, I kept off, I kept on putting off buying it. I don't really know why, but I just kept putting off buying it. Um, but I've seen it a few times lately on YouTube, and I just thought I'd get it. I haven't got a clue what it's about. Um, it sounds interesting, and yeah, I'm just I love the cover of it, and I'm excited to read this. Um, I haven't actually even read the book thief yet, which I, which is really bad, I know I should do. But um, what I have read of it, I started to read a few chapters of it, and I was really, like, taken into the story, so I'm hoping this one will be just as good. The next book I got is A Really Awesome Mess by Trish Cook and Brendan Halpin. And I love what it says here, it says, Living takes a lot more guts than giving up. And this is about a boy and a girl who are suffering with, I think, depression and stuff and they are taken to this place to kind of help them deal with their issues and it's kind of about the people they meet there and them trying to escape and stuff so I just thought it sounded really really good and it kind of reminded me of it's kind of a funny story which I love I think I've mentioned before that I love that so yeah I'm excited for that one the next book I got is The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman um, I'm very excited for this one it sounds kind of creepy um, it says it began for our narrator 40 years ago, when the family lodgers stole their car and committed suicide in it, stirring up ancient powers best left undisturbed. Dark creatures from the beyond this world are on the loose, and it will take everything our narrator has just to stay alive. So it sounds really good, really interesting, kind of creepy, which I love, and yeah, I'm excited for this one, and I love the cover. I've seen other covers of this, but I really like this one, so yeah. And then the last book I got is probably the one that I am most excited about. I am, oh, I just, I've wanted this since before it came out. I've wanted to get this. And it is The Program 
you can't see the writing. Um, it's a program by Suzanne Young. I can't tell you, I'm excited about this. And um, Jay Asher, there's a little quote from Jay Asher up here that says, suspenseful and touching, the program feels frighteningly real. And of course, Jay Asher wrote 13 Reasons Why, which is one of my favourite books of all time. And um, yeah, so the fact that she said this book is good, like, what more do you need, really? Um, and I love the cover, I love um, underneath, if I show you like this. Da, da, da. I love it. And then it's just got this like white long corridor. And this is this is set I think in the future where like there is this epidemic of depression going around and like people committing suicide. And to try and save you, you are sent to the program. And what they do in this program is they basically like they basically like how can I explain it? Like, wipe your mind of everything, like, all your memories, everything, and you kind of come back with a... With, so, basically, your depression is gone, but you are a blank slate. Like, you don't remember anything of your life before. And I just thought it sounded so interesting, and I just... I can't wait to read this. I'm going to be reading this really, really soon, because I'm super, super excited for it. I cannot wait to read this. So, um... Yeah, that is my huge, huge book haul. I know, I kind of went a little bit mad. Um, <laughs> let me know what book you're currently reading, and if you've bought any new... <clears throat> if you've bought any new books lately. As I said, I'm currently reading Throne of Glass, which is really, really good. I'm really enjoying it, even though I've been in a bit of a stump because of the heat as well. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Sorry if I've rambled too much or if it's gone on for too long just notice it's like 12 minutes long but a couple of you did say to me that you actually quite liked long meaty videos um i've got some really good vlogs coming up for you as well i filmed a vlog the other day like out and about and i'm going to do a lot more because we've had some new bookshops open in my town and some exciting stuff and also i spoke to a woman at our we've got like a tourist information center and there's a lady that does kind of tours of our town in there and I spoke to the lady who does the tours, and she's willing to take me on the ghost tour and let me film. So if you want to see that, let me know down below. And also, just let me know anything else you want to see me vlog. Like, if you want to see me do a Where I Live tour, or my local town tour, or, like, my local town bookshop tour, library tour. Anything you want to see me vlog. So I really want to do vlogs. I love watching them. They're my favourite thing to do. So let me know what you want to see, if you want to see more family things. My sister's actually getting married next April. And so at the moment we're doing a lot of preparation, bridesmaid fittings and stuff. So if you want to kind of see me do like a bridesmaid, uh, like a wedding series, like vlogging all the little preparations that we're doing and stuff, let me know that down below as well. Because um, like I say, I love vlogging. So yes, thank you for watching this video. I'm so sorry that it's ridiculously long. Um... Thank you for sticking with me, because I know I haven't been filming a lot lately. It's just so bloody hot. I hate it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go now, because my stomach's rumbling, and I need to eat. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you're all well, and coping with whatever weather you've got, wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video.